New Paradigm Philanthropy. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 101. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 101, February 6th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with video and pictures all of our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week. And if you'd like more specifics, more details, links to all of the open source content, the resources, the tools, the tutorials, the blueprints, everything that it is that our nonprofit has created, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our email updates list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, finished the first 15% of the Technology and Innovation Molecule graphic, which you can see here. Behind the scenes, we also finished brainstorming the blue circle uh, section of the innovation half of this molecule. And we also added a huge video resource section that you can see here to the Science Molecule page covering the complete subject of science. Last but not least, we added our first complete lesson plan example to the Lesson Plan's How To tutorial page. You can see this here, individualized as an example for a young learner that loves and is strong in math and English, challenged in social sciences, and average in all other subjects. This brings the lesson plan's how-to page to about 65% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food Researched and added two resource sections to the Open Source Squash Hub, the Open Source Peas Hub, and the Open Source Potatoes Hub. Also, with the help of Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, we created this initial template and tutorial for all the recipes we'll be adding to the Food Self Sufficiency Transition Plan page. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists and irrigation specialists a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing Continue laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details. Specifically, cutting lumber and labeling for wall front sections and assembling the wall frame. You can see this behind the scenes work in progress here, and we estimate we are now 25% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished another 10% of the earth dome window and door framing reformatting details needed before moving these specifics to the website. This brings us to 35% complete with that work. 
We additionally created two layouts and decided on this second one for the bathroom and kitchenette design for the 150 foot diameter dome for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. And in addition to this, Samuel Soroister, permaculturist and sustainable designer from Green New World, created this next evolution for updating two of the four toilet domes in the Earthbag Village. This updated design still incorporates increased water collection and reuse of gray water to flush the toilets, but in addition to this, now, it also uses space more efficiently and allows all bathrooms to be ADA compliant. Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also finished putting the concept designs into CAD for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign Studio Dome and created this design for a 200 square foot bathroom dome. Douglas Sim Stenhouse, architect and watercolor artist, also produced these conceptual drawings for Pod 3 that will be Cobb and Rammed Earth. And these designs feature six living spaces that share a common social area, bathrooms, and kitchen. They also feature maximization of passive solar, a central fireplace, and designs for construction on a slope. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team completed the second 50% of the thermostatic shower valve and heat lamp energy and water savings calculations. Here's a picture of this work completed behind the scenes before we format it for the website. And what you see here will be used for both the duplicable city center and the Earthbag Village. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team created new social media imagery and updated and featured our highest good housing overview page that outlines the seven different village models we will build. We also did this for our love and connection as a core value page, sharing how we use this value in our decision-making process and strategy for global change. In addition to this, we created version 2.0 of the page we're developing to promote Sue and our reasons for supporting this new social network. We also created the beginnings of our open source tax filing page to share our for-profit and non-profit tax filing process. And we added one community to Amazon Smile, which now allows Amazon shoppers to donate a percentage of their shopping to one community without any expense to themselves. Two other things, we also redid the sustainability nonprofit website homepage to match our main site and redid all the menus to simplify it. And last but not least, we added a collection of over 50 different do-it-yourself highest good living resources to the highest good lifestyle considerations page. These new resources cover everything from baby wipes to do-it-yourself household cleaners, how to make your own makeup, butter, salad dressing, syrup, and more. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community sees what we're creating as an opportunity to create a new paradigm of philanthropy. This idea of new paradigm philanthropy is something that we think will spread on its own because it better meets the needs of the people that would participate than their current way of living. Our idea is to open source and free share the foundations of a, civiliz a sustainable civilization, food, energy, housing, for-profit and non-profit business creation, education, highest good fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship in a complete model that will operate as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub to help teach others how to live this way as well. And we see this as new paradigm philanthropy because the whole model itself, the way that the entire model is constructed, helps the world. 
It allows people to be the change they want to see in the world while meeting their own needs at the same time. You could call it selfish philanthropy. And the idea is that if we make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own and have the potential to transform our entire planet within our lifetime, within one generation. How is this possible? Well, the idea is that if we provide the foundations in such a way that they can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration, village, community, city, or hub, everything that we're putting out, everything that we're open sourcing, everything that we're free sharing is moving us in the right direction. And we think that that's a new paradigm of philanthropy as well. This is all built on open source creation and sharing. The idea is that we think with the consciousness for the highest good of all. We bring together other people who have the consciousness for the highest good of all. And from that place, we say, how can we create the most, the best, the most sustainable and open source and free share it in such a way that other people, if they like what it is that we're doing, can duplicate it, or if they'd like to do it better or think they can do it better or would like to do it differently, can take everything that it is that we're creating and do it in the way that they want to do. That in and of itself is a new paradigm of philanthropy. And so by putting all these things together, taking the physical infrastructure and the physical sustainability and the emotional sustainability and combining these, things to, these two things together, we're creating an evolution of sustainability that meets not only the physical needs, but also the emotional needs. And in so doing, creating these teacher demonstration hubs can create places where just the way that people live, even if they are not intentionally being philanthropic or humanitarian in the way that they are creating and living. The very definition, the very experience of living and interacting with the global environment, with their local communities, with each other, is a big step in the right direction. And this is the new paradigm philanthropy that we're forwarding. This is the idea that we believe has the potential to totally and completely transform life for every single person on this planet if we can help it to become self-replicating. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this is something that you would like to participate in, the model is designed to be self-replicating. The model is designed to be something that anybody can participate in, that anybody can get involved in the way that works best for them and help to forward this idea even faster, even more, to help it develop and evolve in a hundred, a thousand different directions. And so we've got the foundation that we're bringing together and we're creating these initial steps and we're open sourcing and free sharing these initial steps so we can create starting points for as many people as possible. And if you'd like to be involved with that, if you'd like to get involved with it, we invite you to join us. There's lots of different ways that you can participate from becoming a pioneer or a satellite member which are the people that work behind the scenes, the core team of one community, to joining us as a consultant or partner, which are the people that are just donating their time in the way that works best for them to help us moving forward by answering questions or working on specific pieces of the project, to just sharing our work through social media. Even sharing our work through social media is a huge help to what it is that we're doing. Because if we can't get the world out there, and we word out there. If we can't share this idea, this new paradigm of philanthropy with the world to get people to understand that we are making it easy enough, we're demonstrating it's affordable enough, and we're, and we're here to build a teacher demonstration hub that people can experience and realize the lifestyle that they could be living right now rather than the way that they're currently living. A lifestyle that we are confident we will be able to demonstrate as far superior to what most people are experiencing in their daily lives right now. If we can get that word out, the more we get that word out and the more people help us get the word out, the more people get involved in the project and the faster we are accelerating towards that tipping point of global involvement to where the whole world could become a planet that truly works for everyone, positively and permanently impacting the lives of all people, all life on this planet in a way that is truly sustainable. So this is what we're up to. And people always ask, what's the number one thing that we could do to help one community to take it to the next level? Well, it comes back to sharing everything that it is that we're doing because we're looking for that individual or that group that would invest in our 501c3, donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, or that would be interested in investing in one community to help us get the property off the market that we've been working with now for over four years. And in so doing, allow us to share that location. 
Because if we could share that location, we would accelerate towards that tipping point a lot faster. It would allow us to quintuple our team in a very short period of time, allow us to multiply our open source content creation tenfold and then a hundredfold and ultimately get us on the property so we can start building boots on the grounds and actually creating everything that it is that we've been designing and all the details and all this work that has been put into what it is that we're doing, start creating the physical representation of that. And in so doing, multiply our open source creative process a thousand times and even more beyond that and create a place where people can actually come and sit in one room and talk about all the things that we are currently collaborating on globally. So if you'd like to help in that way, we're looking for that person in that small group. And of course, as I've said multiple times already, sharing through social media. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Sue, which are, is our new favorite social media network. We are, of course, on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on all the different social media networks out there to make it as easy as possible for people to share in the environments that they enjoy sharing in the most. And, of course, we like to say thank you for all the small donations because they help as well. The $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $50 donations, those are the things that help us to pay our web expenses. None of our team is paid. We're all nonprofit volunteers. And so those small donations help the, uh, to maintain or to cover the operating expenses of one community and to keep us uh, moving forward without having to dip into our own pockets on a consistent basis. And so it does make a big difference. So with that... As always, thanks for following our progress. Every little bit helps. Thanks for all the emails we get as well. And, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you again.